Part 2 and the final video in this series on Chechis Pass covers the lower half of the western descent from the 13th to the 19th kilometer. At the 14.3 km point, the gradient eases right off for 1.5 km as the road follows the contour line. Along this section, the views to the left over the valley are exceptionally beautiful. The town of Mansonyani is a flourishing one with good supermarkets, a clinic, school, sports stadium as well as an airport. The main reason for this rapid progress is that the Prime Minister of Lesotho, Sam Matakani, lives here. His home is palatial and stands oddly out of the norm on a hill on the right hand side of the road. It's a beautiful large structure under thatch. There's a sharp left-hand bend at the 15.8 km point, which marks the start of the final part of the descent. There are a few sections here where the road surface has deteriorated considerably. Match your speed to the prevailing conditions. As is the case with most of the big passes in Lesotho, you should tackle the descents using your engine compression to slow your vehicle down rather than sit on the foot brake, which can easily result in your brakes overheating and possible catastrophic brake failure. Tackle the descents like the trucks do. You should only be lightly feathering your brakes not more than once every 30 seconds or so. If you apply more foot brake action than that, change down to a lower gear. And don't worry about the high engine revs that you'll hear, this is quite normal. You will also not use any more fuel. The real treat on this pass is the long descent following a deep gorge with lovely scenery as the road snakes its way steeply down towards the St. Cunyani River. If your passengers suffer from motion sickness, you might want to reduce your speed through this myriad of bends. The pass ends at the bridge crossing of the Sankunyani River at the 19 km mark at an altitude of 1816 meters. If you have time to take a break, we recommend this lovely spot on the left hand side of the road right next to the riverbank in the shade of indigenous trees, but be careful in wet season if you don't have a 4x4 as things can get a bit muddy. Across the road, just after the bridge, is the entrance to the Maraca Bay Lodge if you're looking for a restful and peaceful overnight spot with great food. 